Okay. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to open the meeting of the uh, Nantucket Commission on Disability uh, Friday, April 29th, and I'm going to, um, we have a very short agenda, and I'm going to accept the agenda as written with no changes, and I'm going to read the Zoom script, which is... This is Mickey Rowland, Chair of the Nantucket Commission on Disabilities. Permit me to confirm that all the members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Jeanette? Yes, I'm Charita? here. Yes. And um, staff, Brenda McDonough? Yes. And we do have anticipated speakers, Eleanor? Present. And um, Cole? Yes, thanks. Okay. Um, this open meeting of Commission on Disability is being conducted remotely pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 for this meeting. Commission on Disability is convening by video conference via Zoom app is posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Participants may find information on the conduct of that meeting, of, of this meeting at that location. Note the meeting's being recorded and all votes will be taken by roll call. So the only agenda item we have is for the application to um, the Architectural Access Board for a couple of variances regarding the Land Bank Park on Easy Street. And it's really the sidewalk, right? Not the park itself. So would you like me to go ahead and present? Yeah, please do. Okay, I'm gonna just open it up and I really, I encourage Cole to chime in if, uh, Thank you, yes. I'd like to so, see. So, hi there, my name is Eleanor Antonietti. I represent the Land Bank. I'm the executive assistant to Jesse Bell, and I am charged with applying to the AAB for a modif modified um, relief. <clears throat> so variance of, for modified relief, which would state that the, uh, the portion of the walkway that is non-compliant as to slope um, is eligible for a waiver therefrom. So basically, we discovered we were looking to close this project out. It's been a really wonderful project. It took a long time to realize, and we've seen people really enjoy it. Last summer was tremendous seeing people take advantage of that park, even on not beautiful days. Um, but when we went to close it out, even though the town's walkway, which is directly adjacent to ours, has the same issue, uh, we are... We have been charged with rectifying the issue as to our portion of the walkway, which is the slope issue. So as you probably know, there's a 2% ADA cross slope requirement and we don't meet that strictly speaking at every single point in one portion of the walkway. And Cole, if I misspeak, please cut me off and correct me, but- Yeah, I'll just I'm add to that. Just one thing, Eleanor, we're also going for um, the height between, I think there's a maximum of a quarter an inch difference and we're also requesting variance for that too. So it's a slope, cross slope and the height of the quarter inch. Thank you. Man. Thanks yeah. for clarifying that. Um, yeah, that's right. You had added that to the application. I, I forgot that. So it's a, it's a pretty simple request. Um, there was a packet of information that was submitted. I'm not sure if Brenda had a, a, the chance to send it out to you, but it has a cover letter from Cole sort of clarifying some of the more technical issues and then I also included our application, which has a lot of information in it um, about the project, the nature of the project, and the nature of the relief that we are requesting. So if there are any questions either Cole and I can answer, please ask. Do you have any photos of this, Andy? There, yes, we did put some photos in the packet. Um, I, I didn't get, get a chance to see them. Okay, Brenda, are you able to share that? Mickey, are you sharing this? I, I can do that. I've got it up on my um yeah. on my Thanks, you can find them on pages 17 and pages 19 through 21. And that just go to page 17. Just, there. Yeah, just a quick yeah, let me, look. It doesn't have to be too much. Several yeah. photos. Find it. Okay, this should be it. Mickey came down and visited with us. And okay. He, along with others, was understanding that it was it was sort of hard to see with the naked eye. So you're seeing my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so that's that's the this is the the bump. I guess this is the one spot or how many spots uh -huh. are there that exceed the one quarter inch requirement? Do you know? 
Um, oh. that, that was a little hard to difficult, but what I do have included in this, I think it's page 15 there, is a map of, um, yes, this map. So I think it's this one. So coastal engineering, members of coastal engineering, um, and it wasn't myself, it was my colleague Savannah. We went out uh, and measured, took uh, cross slope measurements and put together this map. And four, I know uh, cross slope should be measured in a two by two grid, but we did four by four just to make it a little easier here. But what's uh, what's bolded in red are locations where we had a cross slope measurement exceeding the 2%. Um, so we just wanted to kind of demonstrate the, the level of um, non-conformities currently. Um, part of this application, um, aside from it being modified relief, um, demonstrating that we believe there's not as exceptional gain for um, reconstructing this path, given that immediately adjacent to this walkway are um, also non-conforming paths that are outside of our work scope. So if this site, part of the site was corrected, uh, we would not believe that uh, you know, benefit would be gained to people with disabilities because immediately adjacent, it would be the non-conforming spot. Um, so I think it was on the magnitude, probably about 20% of the area is non-compliant. Um, however, this, this location is also subject to inundation during storm events. Um, mm -hmm. And we feel that not only would, uh, you know, the, the, this, um, it wouldn't stay static. It, the the non-conformities would probably propagate um, either better for the better or for the worse. You know, it could settle and, and level out or it could, uh, you know, it could get some more bumps. So um, part of the application is also because of the uh, cost implications for constantly having to redo this site to meet the AD, uh, the um, 521 CMR specifications for walkways. Okay, um, so just to put this in perspective, a 2% cross slope is, a, is, is one inch in 50 inches. It's, a, it's pretty close to about one inch in four feet. And the sidewalks are roughly four feet wide, maybe a little wider. So it, it's, it drops, it, a 2% slope would, could drop one inch in the length of the sidewalk. Some of these are almost 3%. So that's maybe about an inch and a half um, across the length of the sidewalk. It's not a big drop and it's not a big difference from the required 2% slope either. Mm -hmm. This says 3.4, I'm not sure exactly where that is. Um, so personally, I really don't have a, a concern about these variations in the cross slope um, because I know it's, um, you know, there's a lot worse in town and nobody seems to be too concerned about it in those areas either. The only one, the, the, the concern that I do have um, is, this one, if I can find it here. The, um, the areas where it exceeds a one quarter inch, um, the, the requirement section 2.4 says that no, no change in grade shall be greater than one quarter inch. And um, so you're asking for a, 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 an exception to that rule <clears throat> and I, you know, this shows that it probably is one greater than one quarter inch in this location. I'm not sure exactly where that is. Um, do, Cole, do you know how many locations there are that might exceed one quarter inch? I, I do not. We didn't take those measurements while we were out there. What's difficult also is the material you <laughs> used. Um, because it's brick, I mean, it could be a it could be, I'm going to go back for cross slope just for a second, but it's, it could be 2% one way and then two feet over, it could be 2% the other way. Um, and it's similar for the quarter inch settlement here. So I mean, it's very hard to say where it happens because it would ultimately be, you know, it could be between every single brick joint. So that's why we're ultimately requesting this variance because it's, it's so difficult to predict where a settlement would occur um, that we, we, would expect it to ha happen and we're, we're trying to you know think ahead here uh -huh. I, I can't answer your question on exactly where these um where these not conformities occur well my my way of thinking about this is that the cross slope is is a very gradual thing it's hard it's hardly really noticeable mm -hmm. uh, whereas a 
a change in grade is is more of a tripping hazard, and that you really do notice that when you you know stumble on something that sticks up too much. And I'm I'm sort of hoping that there's only one or two, maybe two or three isolated locations where this one quarter inch or greater issue is. It, it, it is, I mean, I can I can attest to that, Nikki. I'm certainly happy to go back down there with you and revisit it, but I actually had a hip surgery a couple of years ago and I was trying to get recover and I was around town with my cane and, I, you know, the town sidewalks were just a nightmare. It was really quite scary. I mean, I never really appreciated, to be honest, what one goes through. <laughs> um, this this area with a cane or a wheelchair or anything, that's the, the irregularities, if you will, are very, I mean, if they're there, they're incredibly subtle. And and also for a quarter in a, of an inch difference, that's much easier of a problem to fix than relaying an entire brick sidewalk because of the cross slope. So, I mean, I think a big part of this application is to protect the land bank from, uh, I, I believe it's like a thousand dollar day fee if a, if a, a violation was brought up um, and, and it wasn't fixed. But realistically, I mean, the land bank is also very, in touch with the town and would would want to make it so that these um, these non conformities don't exist, but would still like to have the protection in case there was a uh, you know a violation request uh, filed. I I think that's you know part of what uh, the DPW was saying too, right, Eleanor? Yes. Yep. So I mean, there's contractors that and there's also maintenance people that land the land bank. Um, employees that would be able to take care of um, definitely the quarter inch offsets so much more easily than the the cross slope issues well that's um, that's kind of where i'm sort of <laughs> headed with this i'm not, I, I think what i prefer to do rather than just say we're fine with everything as requested is that the cross slope again as i've said to me is not a big concern but it's if if the, those these other imperfections, the greater than quarter inch issues, could be corrected, then you wouldn't need to apply for the section two point four variance. Um, now, what happens a year from now? I mean, is that does this mean like on and on that somebody might come back and say the slope is or there's a bump greater than quarter inch and you'll have to repair it um, and you'll be liable? Is that um, we certainly intend to keep an eye on this, and if, if the situation, you know, becomes worse, we're absolutely going to make corrections to it and fix it. But um, and that can happen with with inclement weather and all of these, yeah. those things. So the inundation. It's not something we're going to turn. We're going to turn the other cheek and just completely ignore and say, "Oh, goody, we got what we wanted." <laughs> and we went, that doesn't behoove us. Number one, number two. Will do, bring no benefit to anybody, and we're all about public benefit. So mm -hmm. that's not in our interest to do that. But for for now, I think we're just mm -hmm. hoping we're really looking to close out this project. It's been such a, as you know, long haul, and mm -hmm. um, this is sort of the next step for us. But correcting it is absolutely something that we would be willing to <clears> and, <throat> and eager to do. Right, that, and it's, that's in the benefit for the land bank as being part of the community. What's not beneficial for the land bank is to have an open, this is quite a public you know, area where um, somebody that's looking potentially to, to you know, file for a violation would be able to. And, and uh, also again, re re reiterating part of this very um, application is to say that immediately adjacent there are those non-conformities that exceed a quarter of an inch and those would not be taken care of um, by the land bank because it's outside of their, their work here. So it's, it's kind of difficult, you know, um, to, to say that, that it, that's why I think the Architectural Access Board has this variant application just to, to, to have that um, demonstrated where there's still not quite, you know, that there's no benefit really gained um, by correcting these issues if it's uh, it's the same thing next door. And I'm, I'm trying to hold that separately from the fact that land, the land bank's part of the community and would fix these issues because it is their property, um, but just don't want to have the open <coughs> openness to be, you know, have, have an enforcement order or whatever issued because uh, one day after settlement, um, after a storm, somebody goes out there and, and finds, a, finds an issue. Well, if we were to essentially support the, the first one, um, the cross slope, but not support the second one. Does that accomplish? I mean, you said you're going to kind of keep up and correct these issues anyway. Does does that still work for you? I mean, I, 
um, I mean, if you say you're going to correct these these problems, then you shouldn't need the variance for that <laughs> section. I was, I was going to say, I mean, this is liable to change within the year, next year or two, just because of the inundation of the floodwaters that are likely to undo different parts. So I would guess it's going to be have to check, be looked at regularly, uh, certainly after a storm event, I would think. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we have had a number of storm events, and thankfully not had some terrible um, negative impacts. Right, right. It's all it's all a function of the where the water is turning yeah, from. And exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, it's true. I mean, we are to be honest, Mickey, we are looking to close this out. This is the town has put the onus on us to do this. Um, I don't know what they're doing with their section of the sidewalk, which has similar problems. Mm -hmm. So that's I don't know. It's we're, we're really just. But we're just talking about your sidewalk, just just this yes, one, yes, one. Yes, yes. right? Just so you can close out your essentially your permit, more or less, right? Correct. Okay. And then the ongoing okay. maintenance would be sort that, of that, we we would have inspections probably more than annually. I would I would expect it at it, it least at the very least. I mean, our crew goes down there after every major storm event. In any case, and if we see bricks bubbling up and so forth, that's going to be corrected. We're not going to let, like I said. <laughs> nothing to be gained by first of all it's the most visible place and probably one of the most visited places on the island so there's no reason to expect that this highly public and accessible park will uh, you know anything that occurs related to weather we will know about it right and we're not going to turn the other cheek because it's again, right. that doesn't behoove us right well so i'm still not clear as to whether you know if if, if you if we're all comfortable saying, okay, on the cross slope, but we would like you to correct the bumps, does, does, does that put you in a, in a very difficult position or does it close you out and now you're done and you'll do your normal maintenance anyways? I don't think we can close out with that, without a waiver from that as well. But you, you said you're willing to correct those issues. Yeah, and then Cole, you said, I wasn't actually, um, Cole added that part of the application. I really only knew about yeah. the process. Eleanor, the reason why I added that for the variance application, and um, you know, I think I'll say two things. The reason why I added it part of the variance application because it's a very similar cause. It would be caused by a very similar way as the the cross slope being um, not met. It, it, if there was storm event, you know, and it, and it settled bricks, not only would you have uneven surfaces, but you could likely have a quarter of an inch. Uh, also, so that that's why I included it. It's not necessarily saying that there's so many nonconformities now, but it's to try to protect. Oh, it's preemptive. In the, in the it's future. preemptive, in other words. Correct. It's preemptive. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And th and then the second thing I would I was going to say is that if if you know this issue potentially would hold back the variance application, um, we would you know, <coughs> maybe we could talk about just withdrawing the request for a variance of the quarter inch exceedance from the application to just go with cross slope but i prefer you know i again it's it's we have to look generally and i think we do have to consider perspective of how immediately adjacent you know next to this it's it's not meeting the same rules as this sidewalk if this variance wasn't to go through this this sidewalk was newly constructed so it's supposed to meet all requirements of 521 uh cmr however due to uh, you know, the, the restrictions for the historic nature of the sidewalk, the, the details that we were forced to use from the DPW, um, it, it was, it's an impossible uh, problem to solve here. I mean, that we already had ACK, the contractor, go back to correct some of these issues, and they still happen just because there was another storm. So that, you know, they, they, it's for protection. It's for protection for the land bank. Um, on behalf of if somebody was looking for an issue and wanted to file a, a violation um, with the Architectural Access Board, and you'd be subject to the thousand day fine if this variance wasn't passed. And I really would like to have that separate from the fact that the land bank does have their own maintenance team and would correct these issues if they were to arise, because I, I do believe you could accomplish both. Yeah, and I know that you put potential for settlement and step that exceeds a quarter inch there. That's exactly right. Right. Well, I, I'm, I'm still kind of, I feel like we're going back and forth on this one. Um, if, if, if there is this another storm inundation and the sidewalk 
bricks, like in this, what I have on the screen right now, that where the level shows the box is, is bricks must have settled around the box, or maybe the box got kind of pulled up a little bit, one or the other. Um, but you're going to correct that anyway. If you find that that's, as you said, you're going to do your very diligent maintenance right after a storm, and you'll probably be correcting it. So is there is there really a need for this variance? I mean, I, I guess I'm coming from the fact that this is a brand new construction project, and you shouldn't need a variance on a new construction project because you should be able to install it level. You're exactly correct, right? That's what's that's what's difficult for us to work through right now too, because um, of the materials that we were forced to use. And in fact, these details came from the DPW, who is now saying that we have to request this variance. So it's it's a, it's a little you know head turning why we're we're going about this and why we're uh, and so it's frustrating. So it, but we're trying to do the best we can um, with all things, trying to try to protect the land bank. I, I totally understand that you know if this was new construction, we should not be going for a variance because. Uh, understandably, the merits of material should, you know, should be should should work. But it, it, the fact is, is that all of Nantucket doesn't work, and all of new construction doesn't should require a variance. We're just going about it the correct way on this project site. Um, Jeanette, go ahead. Were you mandated to use certain materials from the town, or That's not? Yes, as part of the you know historic and from deep, this detail came from the DPW. We were required to use the detail given to us by the DPW. Well, I I walk a lot, as I said earlier, and I walked a lot on in the main street area. The bricks and all that are terrible. Yours were not. I took a walk in the little loop today, and I thought it was fine. But I'm not handicapped so far, thank you. Um, so I I I didn't notice any difference in it. And I know, having gone to lots of land bank properties, that you do maintain them. Thank you. Paul, well, what was the material that's the kind of the problem, the, the specified material that has caused this to be a problem? Um, <laughs> it, it's actually the brick. The brick <laughs> is not a consistent brick shape. So because of the, <laughs> it's, it's not, the, the dimension from brick to brick is not the same. And um, and also, uh, you know, the, the bedding the bedding is a sand, um, and it's not the worst thing for um, you know for for that. But if there was, so I guess it's it's two issues. The the issue with the quarter inch difference is due to the the brick because when when the contractor goes and lays brick, they'll just do one subsurface and then they'll put the bricks down on that. So if there's differences between the brick geometries, that's going to you know create an offset. So that that's that's the one problem. And then the second problem is just because sand settles and if there's we're mm. right up against a bulkhead here and, and that's why the cross slopes being um, exceeded. Well all right so let me help me understand what happens if if we if we say fine with the cross slope not fine with the um, the one quarter inch where does that leave you? Uh, I suppose there's two options, um, and I'll be honest, the first option would probably be to keep going through the variance process with it on it, because we think that there's a good case here that immediately adjacent, there's uh, there's no benefit gain to this project site meeting it because immediately adjacent uh, is just as not conforming. Or number two, we pull that variance from the application. So what if, if you were to pull the variance from the application, <clears throat> you'd you would presumably be granted your variance for the first one. And you would probably <clears throat> fix the quarter inch discrepancies on the site. And, and then are we done? Is that it? Well, then there would be the underlying issue where under a storm event, one, one part is protected and the other one's not, where somebody would be able to come in and, and put, a, put together a, you know, a violation and request a, you know, a fine. So th this is not just um, a statement about the condition of the sidewalk now. It's, a, it's, it's saying that forever this sidewalk cannot have a quarter inch discrepancy. The variance is, I'm sorry, can you please repeat that question? Yeah, I mean, I, it's, <laughs> Um, you know, if you don't get if you don't get this variance, 
and next year there's a flood and the there's somebody discovers that there's another spot or two that there's a greater greater than quarter inch what is the net result of that particular situation do you fix it or do you you're saying maybe you're going to get sued a thousand dollars a day or well i'm saying there's a potential for somebody to apply for that i spoke with um what is his name? William Joyce from the Architectural Access Board. And he's the one that recommended we go this route. Uh, he was, he's very knowledgeable and I really appreciated our conversation with him. Uh -huh. um, so we're trying to, we're following his, um, his instructions here. And that's how he, he said that, um, that, that he, he was the one that said it. He said that there's, you leave yourself <laughs> liable for, uh, for the, uh, the, the enforcement order or whatever the actual uh, application <laughs> is, if you don't request a variance. <laughs> So that's that's what we're doing here. It's it, it so that's what I'm, I'm trying to separate it from the fact that the land bank would actually, you know, do these um, maintenance issues because the, the property also has to get there's there's gardening there that has to be done yearly maintenance. Um, uh, in fact, uh, that the, the second picture there um, in that corner, the bulkhead there, you can see a hole there um, that was just recently filled. So. They're, they're, they've already demonstrated that they're capable of redoing it. In fact, a lot of this brickwork had already been laid because of the nonconformity. So the fact that the land bank um, <laughs> would do the the the, um, the maintenance needed, I think, should be thought of aside from this variance application because they're trying to do two different things. The land bank wants to be part of the community, <laughs> wants to respect people with disabilities and do the maintenance as needed, but they also want to protect themselves because of the issues with the design and the and the construction of this brick and what was what the design criteria was was here, so we'd like you know we think that both of those could be accomplished. Well, I, I you know what you're saying is makes total sense. I I understand it. I think um, I just I just I guess I'm just a little uncomfortable saying, okay, from now on it's okay if there's if there's a discrepancy of greater than a quarter inch on the land bank property. It's just it, to me it feels. A little too, and I know you're you're going to be conscientious, but to me it feels like a little bit too open ended mm -hmm. that we're just saying fine, don't worry about the, the condition of the sidewalk. I think, if I may, Mickey, through you, I think in a way, and Cole is much more knowledgeable in all this as you can tell. But from my perspective, this is more about as you said, preemptive acknowledgement that this site is vulnerable to these types of things under certain inclement conditions, and it may develop that these non, some non-compliances or irregularities do occur, which we will correct, but I think it's more about the vulnerability of the site than actual conditions. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Cole, but it's- No, okay. that's exactly correct. That's Ellen. what I understand it to be too. And I believe the process, <laughs> I believe the process is that, um, Mickey, on behalf of um, is it, uh, the Nantucket Disability Commission, you would, provide a letter um, either supporting or um, not supporting the application. Uh, is that is that correct? Is that the next step, I believe, from here? That's what we yeah. usually do. Yeah. That's, that's what Mr. Joyce said. He said that we would, we would be seeking a letter to accompany our application with the AAB from ComDIS, providing comment regarding the project and indicating whether or not they feel fixing the walkway would result in substantial benefit. So I would highly encourage you to, you know, I don't want to guide what you want, you're going to put in that letter, but I'd highly encourage you to say exactly what you want in the letter, and I know you will, um, but perhaps, you know, that's where you have the, the chance to, 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 to say it. Yeah, and I've been thinking about that also. I mean, what we can say is we're okay with granting the variance due to the, the unreliable conditions on the site or whatever. Um, <laughs> But we would put in perhaps as a condition that um, periodic maintenance of some time will, that works. yeah, will fix, you know, these um, That's conditions. completely within our, you know, absolutely within our wheelhouse. We would want, we would want that. <laughs> Right. So that's why conditions are completely invited. So let's talk, let's talk about that condition as, um, you know, I, I think we could say seasonally or quarterly or and after, <laughs> after you know, specifically after a, any flooding event. Right. 
that the land bank will inspect the, the property and correct any discrepancies that are greater than a quarter of an inch. I mean, do you want to say major flooding event or because there, there can be some minor flooding that's not necessarily going to be as impactful? Well, I suspect you'll do it anyway, but, um, you know, the, and what's major and what's minor, I guess that's, that's, um, but we have, yeah, don't you see, don't you see on the screen, you have the, the flood levels. <laughs> <laughs> Those are major. Yeah. Pretty, pretty <laughs> you check there for you somewhere. Um, yeah. And I think we'll, we can be a little loose about that, but. Um, yeah. And our guys, again, go down there every time there's any kind of a weather event, they head down there. It's one of the first places they go. I'll bet. And, and they're really good. Our, our crew is fantastic. Yeah. I hope a similar connection could be made to the DP with the DPW too, because it wouldn't do much just to correct this one sidewalk. Well, it's all we have control over. Well, I'm saying I think well, in the, you actually you have more control because this this sidewalk is technically on, you know, their property. It, they're the ones that are the main maintaining this. So, uh -huh. hopefully, you know, they could be brought into this conversation as well. In, in reality, yeah. Well, true. It is the town sidewalk. Um, and I don't know what kind of leverage we would have to say every time there's a flooding event that you've got to go inspect the, all the sidewalks that got flooded. Um, <laughs> Good luck with that. And this exactly. this yeah. road is going to be uh, redone at some point, right? And the sidewalks is going to be moved. So there's going to be some new construction in this area that would be part of the DPW's jurisdiction. Yeah, sometime in the future. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, it'll have to be done, but who knows when that will get done. Mm. like so many things <laughs> yes all right so let me try exactly. this i'm gonna <laughs> stop stop sharing um so george I'm, i'll ask george and jeanette the only other commissioners we have at the moment are, how do you feel about this are you okay with with the discussion that we've had so far yes i am i am also okay I mean, you're going to put a little bit of wording in, aren't you, that you're thinking about the flooding and, and uh, maintenance uh, if there is such a thing? If, yes. So I think that, especially around the quarter inch well, thing, but yeah. The, mo the motion could go something to the effect that we're um, um, willing to support the variances for the two requests on the condition that um, periodic inspections of, you know, I would say maybe quarterly inspection, annual inspections, plus any um, significant flooding event, the land bank will, you know, inspect the area and correct any discrepancies that are greater than one quarter inch. Absolutely. Great. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, good. Any motion for that, Ricky? Yeah, Brenda, did you get all that? I'm writing it down, reading down, I'm going to read it back to you. Yeah. So we're looking for, we're going to support the variance request. Um, and our um, condition will be periodic inspections four times per year. That's quarterly, correct? And after any flooding event. And if the land bank, um, it, when land bank inspects the sidewalk, if there are any discrepancies, they will fix them at that time. Discrepancies are greater than a quarter of an inch. Right. Yeah. Yeah, not in compliance with 2.4, I guess you said. Right. I'll make that motion. Great. Thank I'll you, second Jeanette. it. Thank you, Georgia. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Georgia and I am also in favor. So. Yeah, just one comment for the people of the land bank. I love your benches, but they're, and as I say, I'm not handicapped, but they're very low. So I have to mentally say, I can get up out of this. There's no, no. <laughs> I push up and away I go, but any I probably couldn't. I'm taller than Jeanette. Yeah. It they're standard benches, but that's yeah. interesting. I'll see if we can do something about that, but this they're standard. Yeah. Well, I was thinking for people who are more yeah. you know, handicapped that maybe yeah. it be higher would be better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree. It would be hard for me. I'm even though I'm I'm tall, if it's very low, I have trouble getting up. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> the knees aren't working so well. Yeah. No nope. matter for me. <laughs> okay. Well, um, right. I think that was really all Thank we you. needed to to all the business for the day. I think. Okay. Uh, Thank you all very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank you guys both. Thank you. I'm glad we were able to attend. Thank you very much. To, I'm glad we we're able to do this while you were attending.
both of you actually it would have been difficult without you. So that was yeah. very helpful. Yeah, thank all of you and Brenda, especially for making it happen. Yeah. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all right, everybody. Have a good Bye, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Are we done, Mickey? We're done. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Can I make a motion to uh, uh, adjourn? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Second it. <laughs> okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Bye. Bye. Enjoy right. your time. Bye -bye. God bless. Right. Bye bye. God bless. See ya. <laughs> all right. That's enough. <clears throat> bye, Jeanette.